we're back and we're back again with more Samyang Bulldog with a new flavor and this flavor I have to admit I was confused about for a number of reasons so this Bulldog flavor before I get any further is called Rosé um, for us here in the States, rosé is usually a wine type. It's like a pink wine. It's not quite white. It's not quite red. Um, some might see this and think rose, so they might think this is like a, a floral flavor. But it's not a wine flavor. It's not a, a rosy floral flavor. Um, it's actually very similar to some other flavors that Bulldog already comes in uh, both like the Carbo and the Cream Carbo um, so I did a little bit of research on what is Korean Rosé and I also had to figure out how they say it over there so I watched a bunch of videos about it and on YouTube there seems to be a plethora of cooking channels where no one ever says anything there's just text on the screen. The only sounds you hear are like cutting or mixing. No one ever is talking to you. Um, and I guess that's good sometimes, but most of the time, I want someone to say something about what is going on. Um, so after a while, I did find some people who actually were talking, uh, and I wanted to see like how people were pronouncing it. So there were some people saying rosé, and then there's someone who's saying like rosé, or like rosé. Um, but I'm not sure if that's more just like the Korean accent coming out when they're saying rosé, or not. So for the purposes, I'm just going to say rosé, because that's really what I'm getting from a lot of people how to say it. So what is rosé sauce? Um, rosé sauce is another thing that was kind of confusing because when I was looking at different recipes it's different depending on who's making it um, the general idea is you have a red sauce mixed with a cream and I've seen some that are just like tomato sauces mixed with like heavy cream all the way to like a, a chili sauce a gochi gang um, or a, how do they say it go Gang, but then gochugaru, which are chili flakes. One's chili flakes and one's chili paste. Um, a lot of them have uh, sausages and bacon, and they're like these little mini sausages that they kind of cut to look like squids, which I, I really like the idea of that. Um, and just like chopped up bacon or chopped up ham. So it's supposed to be like that, a salty, porky flavor mixed with a red sauce, sometimes spicy, in fact a lot of the time spicy, uh, but then cooled down with a lot of cream. Um, the main way that people have made it is with tteokbokki, and tteokbokki is a rice cake. They're like little chewy tubes basically, made of rice. Um, and you can google it up, there's different uh, rosé tteokbokki recipes ranging from mild with no spice all the way to pretty hot with um, gochugang and gochugaru. Some people add cheese. So how is this different than carbo or cream carbo? In fact when I was searching uh, an older recipe that I saw before Bulldog actually came out with a rosé someone had taken a carbo and added things to it to make it a rosé um, which didn't make sense to me because it seems like very similar but anyway there's the lid it comes with your regular sauce pack I tasted this it tastes spicy like it normally is and savory it might have 
bacony or porkiness in there other than the the chicken i didn't uh, translate any of this this is from korea this is not made to be sold in the states and then you have this powder and this was basically just a pure white powder i didn't really see there was some little green flecks in there but i didn't really see much of anything when i tasted it it kind of just tasted like a powdered milk like a very very creamy um neutral cream there wasn't any like cheesiness no sharpness to it just a cream um but then recipes that i've seen uh, add cheese to it so i guess it's really how you make it there you go that's what it looks like in there you can see it's not super red not really deep red on the picture there you do see like that little cut up sausage that they suggest um, this one also has like some shrimp some bacon bits some onions in it so that's all the things you can add to it I have not tasted this since I've mixed it all up together so I don't know how the the two sauces and powders have interacted and what the end all be all flavor and spice level will be for this but I'm gonna taste it I've had carbo, I've had cream carbo. Hopefully I'll be able to tell you how this differs in flavor. Here we go. The spice still comes through pretty well. I don't think the uh, the only overall objective Bulldog was trying to do here was make something that wasn't spicy. I also don't know like what kind of peppers Bulldog typically uses for their spice. If it's gochugang or gochugaru. The noodles for this one, they kind of feel a little bit plumper than the typical Bulldog noodles. I don't know if that's just me, though. But um, here's what I'm tasting. It tastes like you took your regular... <clears throat> Bulldog added maybe did like half the spice pack. The spice is still the same level of heat. You just put half in there. So it kind of like stretches out a little bit more. And then you add like a a cup of like a half cup of uh, whole milk or half and half even. Maybe even like a heavy cream. Um I'm not getting any like cheesy notes out of this at all. And I'm not getting any like a uh, ham or bacony notes either. Now this uh a bowl lock does have this in a tuckbucky bowl, as well as a, a flat noodle. I bought the I bought this on the website uh, beautyhara.com. Um, it's a Korean beauty supply shop, but also has snacks and candies and stuff like that. It's the same place I got the four cheese one, as well. Um, I think my overall opinion of this is that the carbo is actually better. It tastes like they they took that basic carbo recipe, where it's like a cheesy, creamy, meaty sauce. At this bulldog's case is spicy, but they took away the like sharp cheesiness. 
So it's like spice and cream. Without any cheese. Is it bad? Not at all. But cream flavor is kind of I don't think bland. I'm just not it's not exciting. And this is my first experience with anything claiming to be a rose sauce. So I'm not sure if this is what it's supposed to taste like. But I imagine seeing the other recipes and videos that I've seen about this that have a more smoky, salty flavor with all the sausages and bacon and stuff that they put in there. And I could see if you put that kind of stuff in this bowl, it would probably be a better experience overall. But, at the end of the day, I think the this Bulldog, uh, Samyang Bulldog Rosé Ramen is kind of a miss. Uh, and, and typically all the, the Bulldogs I've really enjoyed, some more than others, this one just seems like they took away from something they already had um, and called it something new. Which is kind of disappointing. On the website that I got this from, they the uh, I believe it was the flat noodle one was sold out. They still had the regular ramen noodle and the takoki bowl. Um, I assume the sauce on all three of them the same, just the 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 starch is different. Well, there you go. The rosé was a disappointment overall. It doesn't taste terrible. It's just not as good as the other things they have. So it's not something that I would suggest uh, for right now. People in the United States try to get shipped over. Um, if you're still enjoying the carbo, just keep on eating the carbo. It's, it's actually a lot better than this. Um, like I said, this one feels like you're taking something away rather than adding anything new. Okay. That's it. We'll see you guys on the next video. Like and subscribe. Until then, bye.